Okay, this is a quick demo of a little Seamus browser that I wrote using Python and the Pyramid framework just to show how you could simply serve up some files from the Alfresco repository using Seamus. So I'm just browsing through the folder structure right now and I'm going into the sample site, click on agency files, images, and then here are the files that live in that folder. If I open up uh, grass.jpg, I can see the metadata on that file, click download, and there's the file. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so I can go to any point in the repository uh, by just clicking the path, or just following the path. And uh, you can see that um, when I'm in a folder that I have uh, write access to, then I get some additional things here that allow me to um, create new folders, for example, uh, delete folders, upload a file, create plain text content. So I'm going into the uh, alpha folder here and we'll browse for a sample file, pick that and upload it. And then do that again, add a second file. So these are all being stored in the Alfresco repository um, on the back end. There's the metadata for the file I just uploaded. I have a little bug that uh, I'm not properly detecting the, the MIME type when I upload it, so I can fix that, but um, that's pretty much it. So now I can go in and um, because I have write access on those files, I can delete those files, or I could just delete the entire, uh, the entire folder tree. And now that folder is empty. Okay, you may be uh, wondering about folders that contain a lot of uh, folders or files in them. Uh, so an example of that would be um, in this test folder I have a folder called mini folders and I have several folders here so I just uh, added a little paging, uh, a couple of paging links here so I can just page through and uh, see the results in the smaller result set. Obviously um, if I spent any time on the UI I would do something better um, with maybe a little data table here, maybe an Ajax table, um, so that you could see uh, multi-columns um, of metadata and page through those without a screen refresh and things like that. You may have also noticed that I'm running as a, um, I'm not running as admin, and the way you can tell is because I don't have delete access on these folders and I don't have the ability to create any new folders or content in this particular folder. So I'm running as a user called Seamus user, and that's just a user that I created. And you can see that this is a little uh, thing that shows up when you're running in uh, debug mode. This is a pyramid specific thing. And if I click on settings, I can see that um, I'm using um, a local Alfresco server, and then I'm using a uh, Seamus user called Seamus user, and his password is called password. So obviously uh, that's not something that you would want to make available to, uh, to your users. But the point is, is that um, this particular browser is um, configured so that um, it'll work with, without requiring your end users to authenticate. If you wanted to authenticate a user against Alfresco and then um, you know, let them do what they have permissions to do, that's not a big deal. That's it. Obviously, um, this is not a very exciting demo from a user interface standpoint. Um, that's, it's done that way on purpose. This is really just to show that you can do uh, a simple file browser on top of Alfresco uh, with very little coding, uh, especially when you have a framework like this and uh, a Seamus API.